Good afternoon. This is uh, Mike up in northern Wisconsin at Anathoth Community Farm doing an unex unexpected video because we just got a, a real nice downpour that we weren't anticipating. And I want to show you uh, something that happened uh, out of that downpour, which is a good reason to do what we do. Here's uh, we bale graze. This is uh, where they were last season. You can see the remnants of bales and rings are over there. You can see that it's fairly trampled and eaten down over here. Don't, be, don't fret about it because the roots are deep and it's going to bounce back quick. Uh, here's last year where the bale grazing was and you can see it's uh, totally lush and they've been they, they went through here eight days ago uh, just to let you know and so what I want you to notice is the we have a home weather station so we saw that we were getting uh, rain totals of uh, almost three inches an hour and we ended up with an, an inch and three quarters of rain out of that rain event uh, you can see by looking at how the loose hay was pushed through here, that there was a lot of water coming through here. Uh, and we're really into uh, water protection and uh, caring for watersheds. So one of the things we did uh, for that reason was we put in swales <clears throat> along uh, the right places to put them in this topography and one of the one of the uh, places where we have a have a, a swale and we've got <clears throat> all kinds of woody perennials up here uh, this is the upper one this this is the one that that comes in from uh, the road because there's a drain tile that comes across the road and feeds another 40 acres of water into our system here. That's kind of what the flow is here uh, across to uh, the the, uh, the peak of this swale. And there's another swale down below there. And right here, what I noticed when I came out to change fences today was because of that downpour <clears throat> coming through where they bale grazed, uh, we've got manure runoff right in right in here that got captured by the swale, which happens every uh, spring when the snow melts and there's manure running off, or when you have big rain events. So, uh, yeah, swales—they're great. They harvest they harvest water. Uh, they give you a place to plant tr trees and woody perennials and uh, they spread water out and soak it into the ground. We've had real, very droughty conditions up here for the last two weeks. And as you can see here, uh, it, this, is, this, is not, this is pretty lush. The rain knocked it all down uh, this afternoon. Uh, and here's the gang coming through uh, to there. Uh, that's the next place they're gonna be. But uh, things are looking pretty good. We've been doing managed intensive grazing, grazing for uh, 15 years. We've had, we've had uh, bale grazing back here. We've been doing that for maybe four years. So uh, we've got some, some pretty lush pastures uh, in, this area, in this area here. Actually, all around, all our pastures are really doing well. So there you go. Uh, the main thing I wanted to show you was that manure runoff being captured in the swale. And so it's not going way down the valley, into the woods, into Devil's Marsh, into the Straight River, into Big Round Lake, uh, and into the uh, Upper Apple River watershed. So yeah, swales, put them in. Capture the water, use it, stop runoff, uh, agricultural runoff, 
uh, learn to love your manure even more than you already love it when you learn when you keep it on your place using uh, the right method. There you go. Have a nice evening. Uh, enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.